So this is our trip to Splashman's Eco Park. We needed lamb chops, but unfortunately, all the supermarkets were closed. Luckily for us, there was this guy with a roadside stand, and he was selling different portions of lamb. He had this really nice leg portion of lamb, and once again, luck was on our side because he was able to chop it into the pieces that we wanted to barbecue. There you can see just how precise he was in cutting up that leg of lamb. Once we had our lamb, we were on our way to Splashman's. What you see right here is the Linden Suistike Highway. I think that's the way it's pronounced. What you see us approaching here is one part of Splashman's. On either side of the highway is this Blackwater Creek. There are huts, people pull up with their cars. I think there are also jet skis available if you wanna get into that. But that's not where we were going. We're going just a little further down to the Eco Park. You're gonna see that in just a bit. So that's the entrance to Splashman's Eco Park. You follow this dirt trail and it takes you to the entrance of the Eco Park. As you can see, we're just pulling up to the entrance here. There's a fee that you pay. I forgot what it is exactly. But there are park attendants that collect the fee. They let you in and they help you get set up for whatever amount of time that you're trying to spend there. This is one of those attendants. They have um, barbecue grills that you can use. This guy is one of those guys that work at the park. As you can see, they help you get your grill set up so you can get your barbecue going. Once that grill was ready, it was time to put the meat onto the grill. So this is the lamb going onto the grill. Not to worry, we made sure his hands were clean. And there's also a second line of defense. The heat from the grill, you know, purifies the meat. So. We're good on two fronts. Splashman's Eco Park is pretty scenic. Um, personally, the atmosphere is quite relaxing. It's a really nice place to spend a Sunday with your friends, family. If you just want to chill, hang out, you know, have some barbecue, have some drinks. Oh look, somebody finally found the thong, so now we won't have to handle the meat with our hands. But as you can see in the background, the park is it's just a nice place to hang out. Um, the trees, the lake in the background. It's just a wonderful place to be. Now, here comes the chicken. So in addition to the lamb, we also had chicken being barbecued. And a few minutes later, the barbecue was finished and it was time to drown it in sauce. The sauce was as good as anything I've ever tasted, probably even better. And I'm pretty harsh of a critic when it comes to barbecue. Sauce was very hearty. It just went well with the meat. And of course, a barbecue wouldn't be a barbecue, especially in Guyana, without alcohol. That is pickled cucumbers, pineapples, and gooseberry. I think these kids had more fun than anyone else. <laughs> For the greater part of the day, they were in the lake, but they had fun, so it's all good. If you're in Guyana, definitely pay a visit to Splashman's Eco Park.